Hey everyone, thanks for watching. It's another rainy night in Southern California. I know, um, but I'm glad you're joining me. So I have some questions today on my Facebook regarding my experience with the new, you know, renovated Clifton's Cafeteria in downtown LA. So I thought I would talk about my experience and address those questions. And I would like to address those questions with a question of my own, because I think once you hear my question, all your answers will be answered. So let me ask you this, Facebook friends and anyone else watching this. Have you ever shit your brains out on the Metrolink train? I have. I had it until today. Not until I ate at Clifton's Cafeteria. So uh, be warned. Anyways, yes, I'm going to go there with my opinion about Clifton's because I already went there with the poop. Anyways, so... Um, if you didn't know, if you're not from California, or if you've never been there, um, Clifton's Cafeteria, oh, 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 hold on though, I'm sorry. They refer to it now as Clifton's Republic. I I'm sorry, is it its own country now? Like, does it have its own fucking dictator? A anyways, for the sake of vintageness, we will refer to it as Clifton's Cafeteria or Clifton's. So anyways, Clifton's Cafeteria is uh, the last cafeteria style restaurant in Los Angeles, and uh, it's the last of eight. Now, I think there's more than eight. I think there's nine. I think there was one in San Bernardino at Inland Center Mall. Let me check on that and uh, get back to you. But anyways, it's the last of eight. It was the second location and it was called Clifton's Brookdale. And it had like a foresty theme going on throughout. Um, you know, it was, everyone went there. You know, it was just good home style, cafeteria style food. Um, I used to go there when I lived in downtown LA before I got gentrified. Um, you know, the prices weren't great then. Don't tell me they were they, they weren't great then, but the variety was there. It was simple and easy. Uh, you know, you had the scenery. It was great. So anyways, um, they closed it in 2011. It got sold and bought, and they were going to remodel it and change everything like that. So I believe not last year, not 16, but in 2015 it reopened. And um, I didn't go because I knew it was going to be just too many people. Um, but... We went today. I'm like, okay, let's finally try it. Now, I didn't have high hopes because I read lots of reviews and um, Dave, you know, roommate Dave has gone and he said it wasn't great. And uh, for all his faults, Dave is pretty right on when it comes to his restaurant reviews, uh, except pricing. Dave is cheap as fuck. So don't listen to him regarding prices at a restaurant, but everything else he's pretty, he's been pretty right on and he was not impressed. So um, we went. And um, first off, they were late opening the door. Um, it was supposed to open at 10. We were there at 940. And also, um, I've never been somewhere so where like so many people try to open the door when there's people lined up waiting to get in. Like other than Ross, which it's the same clientele, if you know what I mean. But, you know, we're all in line before 10 and people are walking, you know, trying the door. They're like, oh, it's not open. No shit. Why are we standing out here in the fucking rain then? You know, like, it's just, anyways, so they come out and they're saying, oh, we're having problems in the kitchen. We're going to open in 10 more minutes. Okay, fine. 10 more minutes roll around. Some lady gets pissed and opens the door and starts yelling at the manager. And I'm like, lady, I mean, she's right, but it's like, lady, what, the, what are you going to do? Anyways, so they open up five minutes later. We go in. First off, uh, the cafeteria part, it's just like a clusterfuck. It's a clusterfuck. It's, there's no lines that just go up and down like they used to be. Um, now they have food stations, like a buffet. But even then, like the lines to get in the food stations and get your stuff, it's just, it was chaos. Um, maybe they weren't used to having like that many people rush in because they were running late. I don't know, but it was a clusterfuck. Um, they don't have nearly the food they used to. Um, you know, they still have like the side salads. They have, you know, carrot raisin salad and stuff. But they were like in shooters. It was ridiculous. It was like $4 for like a shooter of carrot salad. Hey. So um, then they have like a, a salad bar area, which you don't get to make your own salad. Okay, fine. Then they had an area where it was like hamburgers and chicken fingers. Really? Millennial adults? No to the fucking chicken fingers. That's ridiculous. Don't go to Clifton's Cafeteria and order chicken fingers. That's just bullshit. Um... Then they had a, a breakfast area because it was morning. Uh, they had a sandwich cart and dessert. And in the middle, they had uh, the carvery where you can get like protein and two sides, which is what we got. Um, I got meatloaf with vegetables and macaroni and cheese. And um, it was pretty good, you know. And people complain about the price. We paid $14 each for 
the meat and two sides. I don't think it was that much. Like if you look at, I'll show you. If you look at my meal, that's like a meal out at a restaurant, $14. And it was a good amount of food. Like, you know, so I don't get why people complain. Now, yes, they did have expensive stuff. Like the salad shooters or the dessert um, was kind of high. Like they'd have a piece of pie. Like they had a piece of apple pie. It was a big, big dude. I'm like, oh yeah, that's a $4 piece of pie. But then they'd have like Jello. Four dollars. I'm like, no, Jello should never be four dollars, ever, 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 right? So that was kind of high. Um, you know, it was just, yeah, it was just like it wasn't a cafeteria to me. So thirty dollars later, we go upstairs. Now, the rest of it looks like pretty much exactly the same. I was able to sit in my same table with the same rusty napkin holder, with the same view, and the same taxidermied animals. So all that's still the same. Um, they still have the chapel, although the sound wasn't working in the chapel why the fuck else are you going to go in there? You know, other, I guess, than to get your fuck on. I don't know. Um, oh, also, my corn muffin was cold as fuck. I mean, cold as fuck. So I don't know if that was the kitchen issue they were having, but um, it was really cold. Anyways, but we went and looked throughout the rest of it, and um, they have more fireplaces and more taxidermied animals, and they have a display with some ephemera, which I find interesting, because as a collector, I don't come across... A lot of Clifton's Cafeteria ephemera. Uh, normally, it's postcards. But I only have one matchbook. And I have, it's like a, I'll show you. It's a like a ticket stub for a tour that was sponsored by Clifton's or something. But uh, no, I don't see a lot of ephemera. And they didn't have a lot either. Although they did have a cool, like, stamp plate. But anyways, uh, you'll see. Um, so we walked around. They do have a bar on the second floor. So you can get alcohol. But one thing I was irritated with was, like, the lack of proper signage like they were like oh jazz bloody mary brunch well okay there's no times it didn't tell me what level it didn't give me no price um we were there sunday it said sunday brunch right well they told us we couldn't go on the third or fourth floor so where the fuck is this bloody mary brunch it didn't tell us that um but no they had some cool funky old chairs and it, it, you know i do think they did a good job with the interior um they had some more stuff to see it felt more relaxed it still had nooks and crannies to eat and, and stuff like that um the third floor i believe is a gothic bar which you know the inner goth in me is like oh maybe they'll play some Susie, you know um and then the fourth floor is supposed to be tiki bar as a homage to the uh first clifton's which is the clifton specific seas that had like a tiki motif um but other than that, we went downstairs, used the restroom. Uh, they do have the piece of neon that's been on for like, whatever, 100 years. That was down there. But um, I got to say this, though. My food tasted pretty good. Like, I was going to give it like a five when I was originally thinking about making this video and telling everyone on Facebook until like, you know, shit fest spectacular happened on the Metrolink. Then I'm like, nope, 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 sorry. Um, you know, I just, I guess my issue with it is the, they hipstered it out a little too much for me. Um, there was like, you know, oh, whimsical organic candy, like scattered throughout that you can buy. It just made the cafeteria part look cluttered, you know? Um, I didn't like that. It's just, it was, I like hipster bullshit food, but I just feel there's a time and place for that. Like, I'll go to some little hipster fucking restaurant when I want to eat that kind of food. Clifton's Cafeteria should just be meatloaf and mashed potatoes and hearty, Americanized cafeteria food. So, eh, maybe the bar's better. I, I would go back to try to drink. Um, and maybe when they're not having kitchen problems and open up 20 minutes late, the food might have not wrecked my stomach. I don't know. But um, what I have to say about Clifton's is just more kitsch, less shits. So, from me to you, from my empty bowels to you, um, we'll see you later. We'll go to Clifton's if you want, but bring the fucking Pepto. That's all I'm going to say. So anyways, have a good night and I'll see you soon. Thanks.